so like a month ago when I did the airbrushing thing with that, you know, face airbrush system compressor thing, had so much fun with it, but I like broke the unit immediately. Like after a few hundred bath bombs, the motor just died and said, nope, we're all done. And so I went and ordered another one and it didn't show up. It was a big old thing. Anyway, point is, the other day I was here with the Soap and Clay Kidlets and we were editing the Kata video and Mr. Soap and Clay comes home and just kind of sets something down, you know, next to the computer that he had picked up for me. And it was an airbrush system. And I'm like, that's, that's cool. Thank you. And I told him, thank you. And you know, whatever, but I didn't look at it because I was in the middle of, you know, something else. And I had an opportunity to look at it just before coming to film. And, um, I'm pretty sure he got me another face uh, airbrush system because it it has a face on the back and it talks about oxygenating the skin and absorption. So I think our wires might have been crossed somewhere. So I still don't have a an airbrush thing. And that sucks because my entire holiday line is based around uh, airbrushed bath bombs. And that actually does have something to do with what we are doing today. We're obviously not airbrushing anything because I don't have the right one. But I mean, thank you to Mr. Soap and Clay anyway. That was nice. I'm just gonna have to return that guy. But I will tell you more about what we are doing in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for day 360 of 365 days of soap. And today we are talking about how to build a theme. And I know that I've done this video before, but refreshers are always good. And plus, you know, new ideas and tips and tricks come to me when they come to me. And so whenever I have that information and I find it useful enough to tell you about, we talk about it again. So let's get to the video where I'll be making something, I have no idea what, and talk about building a theme. Okay, so spoiler alert on the, you know, airbrush system thing. Mr. Soap and Clay did point out that, you know what, it's Amazon, so if we don't like it, we can send it back. So use it, and if it breaks, we'll do that. So I've done that, and I'm doing stuff for some really cool bath bombs that you guys will see in year three which I'm very excited about. Year three content is rocking and rolling and I am pumped. But that's not what we're doing. We are finishing up year two today and we are talking about themes. Well, more specifically, like gift sets, right? Because right now it is the season to be really thinking about gift sets while you probably should have, you know, gift set type things in your line all of the time. It's definitely an important thing to have in the fall months because holiday season. And obviously we never want to make ugly gift sets and weird gift sets or anything that even remotely resembles, you know, the crap that you get from Walmart. But we also want to make it easy on ourselves as well as, you know, the end user for their selections because a lot of people will be buying gift sets for someone else. And also we need to keep in mind, you know, packaging and shipping when we build our gift sets. So because my brain has been very heavily focused on subscription boxes right now, I have been forced to really dial in 
the size boxes that I use and only use those for like packaging, not shipping, but the packaging because of the shipping, because in order to figure out subscription boxes and the cost of shipping and therefore the cost of the subscription box, I need to have that all dialed in. So Mr. Webman got me on that and I spent, oh gosh, I would say four or five months looking at all these different boxes, making stuff for them and you know, whatever, until I finally settled on four boxes, four box sizes that I'm happy with to package all of my gift sets, all of my beard care kits, my shaving kits, my monthly sub boxes for, you know, bath bombs or just the fun other subscription boxes that I'm doing four sizes that will all fit into a padded flat rate mailer. So that's good for subscription boxes. But now that I have those sizes figured out, the products that go inside of them obviously have to fit. So I want a nice, beautiful assortment of packaging and, you know, products within that packaging, but they all definitely need to fit within the box that size that I've selected. So that's kind of how this particular line was born with the, um, the soap and the bath bomb with the crystal line. And then these, which are bath, milk, tea, uh, bath salts, things. They're delightful. They're absolutely amazing. And I wish I could give you the recipe, but in all actuality, the first time I ever gave a recipe for bath salts was the very first negative comment I got on my channel. And so I vowed at that moment to never give up any more bath salt or bath tea recipes ever. And I've stuck to it. So haven't done a recipe vid on that since. So if anybody in the discord, the discord sensors are interested, just send me a message and I'm happy to put it up for you for sure. But anyway, bath milk tea things accompanied with a soap, one of the crystal soaps and the crystal bath bomb that actually has, you know, a crystal in it. You saw me make those as well, as well as a lotion. And every single one of the products that I have made are obviously all similar in color scheme. So like the exact same in this case, and in scent, also the exact same in this scent, all four products. Now, in a lot of cases, I have, you know, tried to use scents that are complementary in things because, you know, I wanted to put extra scents into a package, but I am really finding that for the end user, if you just make them a box that is all the same scent, so orchid and sea salt, and that's what they know it is then it's completely perfect. Like it's easier for them to know that every single scent is the exact same in all of this, instead of having to spend too terribly much time looking at the gift set and saying, oh, well, I like lavender, but I don't like the cedar that you have going on here. So it's a deal breaker. So if they like orchid and sea salt, they're going to like every single product because it's all orchid and sea salt as an example. This is not orchid and sea salt, but I'm also showing you my pretty packaging. I've uh, really, really finely buckled down on making sure that every single bit of my packaging is completely eco-friendly and sustainable. And these are rice paper bags that are fully biodegradable. I love that. I'm so excited. Even the little plastic bit, it's made out of like corn or something. It's very exciting. Anyway, and the packaging of this is a full 12 ounces of the bath milk teas, you know, and that's just for photography purposes. Once you shake that up, all of the calendula petals go throughout the entire batch. But you know, for photography, I want them to look a certain way before I do it. Also to the color bit, when I say all the same colors are used, I mean, literally all the same colors are used. So I use the same micas in every product that I make for this, which also makes my labeling much easier because you know, you can't just put micas on your bath bombs and your cosmetics and all the things you have to put every single thing that goes into that mica. So in this case, it would be like the pumpkin head. So it'd be mica and titanium dioxide and iron oxide. Got to put all those things. And so I know to do that for every single one of my labels 
and I don't have to keep going back and referring to the mica that I used for my bath bomb versus my bath teas versus my soap. Make sense? Yeah. And so simplicity is good as far as keeping the scent and the colors the same for a lot of reasons, not only for the end user, but also for you because it makes it easier on your life. And so, yeah, that's kind of how that whole thing looks together and they're absolutely beautiful. And here's an example of, you know, another version of this because I have four that I'm very excited about and I have just a template mock-up for my labels there. My printer is giving me fits and I'm waiting on toner because of course I am, but no worries. It'll be ready to go by October 1 for sure, but that'll be the label for, you know, the lotion and for all of the lotions. And so keep it simple. The only thing that I will change within all of that for any lotion ever again will be, you know, obviously the name of the lotion and the scent and maybe the colors. Cause as you can see, I leaned into the purple on that particular label but kept it still mostly black and white because those are my business's colors. So keeping that consistency going and then the bath bombs and the soap get wrapped in my regular cigar bands that I always do. And so there you got an awesome package that will fit inside a Scotty stuffer that will fit inside, you know, a padded flat rate mailer. It's a great idea. That's day 360. And there it is. Some ideas on how to build a theme while making some pretty stunning bath teas, bath salts, you know, bath things. And that, as I said, was part of a theme that I've been building and kind of where I want a lot of my subscription boxes and whatnot to go. So have a staple like a bath tea and a soap and a balm and a lotion in every box, no matter what, and then keep the scents either the exact same or very complimentary throughout all of that, as well as colors and all the jazz, keep it easy on you, but also to keep it easy on, you know, the end user. Ultimately, I, I think the easiest way to be building a theme is to build sets around stuff that makes you happy. Because if you're not happy with what you're doing, you're not going to be able to sell it and copy. You are not going to be able to effuse about it on the website about why this is such a cool box or on your Instagram or all the things. So you have to be into it first and foremost. What I've been doing with my soaps and my bombs and the simplicity and everything lately, I'm super into, I'm loving it. It's very aesthetically pleasing for me. And so, yeah, I can talk about that. I can promote that. But if it were something that was, you know, like wildly brightly colored and lots of like chaos, that's not where my brain is right now. I would have a hard time promoting that and saying, this is cool. You should get it because this. And also just having the one cent in the whole box makes it really easy for you to write out all of your, you know, ingredients and make all of your labels is my thinking. But anyway, there it is. I hope you guys had fun today. I hope you learned some stuff. If you have any cool ideas for building a theme and everything, obviously drop them below. If you're a Sudzer, if you're not, what are you doing here? To my Sudzers, thank you for being here. Thank you for existing. You guys are amazing. I'm out of here. I still need to figure out what we're doing for the last five days of, you know, year two. Seriously, I only have an idea for one soap. It's been done, so that's good, but I don't know what I'm doing for the rest. So, I gotta get to that, but I will see you guys all again tomorrow, probably, so we can all figure it out together in another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.